We saw the name of Allah praising Him for the fact that He's given us Ramadan and He's given us the Eid prayer, He's given us the community to pray Eid with. We praise Allah for Azza wa for the fact that He has given us the knowledge to pray the Eid prayer. And we say, Allahu Akbar, Allah is greater. This Eid that we pray is a reminder that there are times for joy in our deen. And there are times for seriousness in our deen. And often the seriousness and the joy come in pairs. That sometimes you experience joy and it comes sometimes with a bit of rigor. And sometimes you experience rigor and it comes with a bit of joy. And this Eid is a, is a reminder that we're departing from Ramadan. That we're departing from the blessing of Ramadan, the fasting with our communities, praying in the nights, taking those opportunities to refine ourselves, to have tahdeeb, to refine our character, refine our worship, refine our presence with Allah Azza wa Jal, refine our taqwa, refine our consciousness of Allah Azza wa Jal, refine our gratitude of Allah Azza wa Jal. It's a reminder to us that Allah is greater. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. And we say this in the Eid prayer, and before the Eid prayer, and after the Eid prayer, on the way to the Eid prayer, on the way back from the Eid prayer, we say, Allahu Akbar, Allah is greater, that we remind ourselves that these actions that we did, the fasting that we, that we did, this fasting was not a favor that we did to Allah. It was a favor that Allah did to us, and we say, Allahu Akbar. And Allah rewards us with the Eid prayer after, with the joy of the Eid community after, with the community of the Muslim community and the Eid prayer after. He, he gives us the joy of visiting each other, dressing up, and having gratitude for Him. And we say, Allahu Akbar for that. That this month that we just came out of is a reminder to us that Allah is greater. And that this month, many of us took it as a month of tahdeeb, a month of refinement, that we refine ourselves in this month. That every single one of us, even if you fasted a single day, if you're the person that does not pray a single prayer except the Eid prayer, if you're a person that does not fast a single fast except in Ramadan, if you're a person that does not pray at all in the masjid except during the, the except during Ramadan, that this was a time for you to refine yourself, that at least we did that, alhamdulillah, and that we did that and we felt the joy of that, that we want to, we want to uh, inculcate more of that in our lives. So that we had that tahdeeb, we had that refinement, and after that we want istiqamah. We want to have steadfastness, uprightness, in whatever that we gain in this month. That whatever we gain in this month, we don't want to lose it. Because if you're not going, if you're not in a sense, then you're in descent. If you're not progressing, then you're stagnant, you're regressing. And so whatever progress we made in this month in our relationship with Allah, in our relationship with the Qur'an, in our relationship with the Prophet Wasallam, we want to keep this going. We do not want to lose, lose this. That after this refinement, we want istiqamah. After this tahdeeb, we want to have steadfastness. We want to have uprightness in this. So we say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd, akunu qawli hadha, wa astaghfiru Allah li wa lakum al-nisaa al-muslimin. Ya qawmi astaghfiru, inna hu huwa al-ghafur rahim Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, 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 Allahu Akbar, in, in the, on the day of Eid. Allah is too generous that, and He is too great that He would give us the day of Eid and not forgive us on that day. Allah is too great that He allow us to pass the Ramadan and not forgive us in, on Ramadan. We need, to remember, we need to remember that Allah is greater. Allah is greater than our actions. Allah is greater than our non-actions. Allah is greater than the states of our hearts. Allah is greater than the, the thoughts in our mind. Allah is greater than our families. Allah is greater than our prayers. Allah is greater than our friends. Allah is greater than those that are under us and those that are over us. Allah is greater than all that. Allah is greater than the heat that we're standing in right now. Allah is greater than all of this. So we say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah Akbar. Inshallah, that whatever we've said in these last few minutes, we don't want to extend further, is that, is that now that this month has come, we want to remember that this month happened in our lives. We don't want it to become a, a passing thought in the mind that it happened and it was just a memory, faint, a faint memory in the distance. 
that this month happened and that we had the opportunity to, to do good deeds. We had the opportunity to save from the haram and to do and to do things that Allah Azza wa asked of us. And that when that thought comes to our minds that this month happened, that we don't want to allow ourselves to regress and be indecent from the from the from the from the from the, from the station that we've already gained with Allah Azza wa Jal. So we say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, 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 Allahu of solace, our source of peace, so Allah humma antas salam, wa minkas salam, tabarak ya adam jalal ibn kram, hayyina wa dhfilna dara salam, rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa fi al-adhaab al-nar, rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata a'inina wa ju'amna li muttaqin imama, we ask Allah to have mercy on our teachers, particularly our first teachers, our parents, so we say, rabbi rahamhuma kima rabbi yani saghira, rabbi rahamhuma kima rabbi yani saghira, rabbi rahamhuma kima rabbi yani saghira, and we ask Allah azza wa jal, we ask Allah azza wa jal that he allows to be cognizant and recognize the fact that Allah and his angels Send the blessings and uh, send the sense of his blessings and his prayers and his peace on upon his beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we're asked to do the same. Inna Allah wa manaikatahu sallun ala nabi ya yuhal ladina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ashabi Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala athba'i Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahbari Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala azwaji Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ummati Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik wa sallim wa salli alayhi Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Rillahi Hamd, Eidikum Mubarak.